Hey, everybody, it's metal time. It's U.S. metal time with Matt McCord. I'm the wild dog, the resident metal guy here at Macomb Entertainment and usmetal.com. And tonight we're going to have local heavy metal shredders, Gargoyle, on the show, live from the Pine Street Theater about 1987. We're not sure about the year, but I got the tape. And uh, actually, I saw a post on Facebook. Madison saw the post on Facebook. And, okay, sorry. Sorry, Mr. Madison. You saw the post and showed it to me and said, this is Gargoyle. Don't you have a tape of Gargoyle that Paul Dreher gave you? And I said, yeah, Gargoyle. Right now, with Kevin Sanders on guitar, Doug Smith on bass, Dave Kendall on drums, and uh, Tim Lockman on vocals. The Burning... The devil in this place is like a little grace. Can't you see that we must set it free? What I need to do is go. Build a fire from the liar, take the evil down. Shout the word for every person here. That's all you, come on. Only those of evil need to fear. Children. Gather round the burning fire Let it cleanse your soul Children, gather round the burning fire Let it cleanse your soul Demons, demons from hell I can bend thee We've got to free this woman from her pain let her breathe again I believe that what wants to be free Can save her from disaster What is learned from a born southern bird Who will save us For it to be this quiet. How you doing? Good evening. We are Gargoyle. This next song is an eye for an eye. Yeah. 
film he got into poison idea after gargoyle and uh did my favorite version of this band a song called plastic bomb and um after that he kept playing music but you know you you realize that it's not going to go anywhere after a while and so he got into film like i got into video and he made a movie and it's called snipe and let's take a look at a couple of clips from that Tonight, we change the world, or at least we light it on fire. You people love to see the blood, but you just hate when it's your own. So they give this kid a sparkler, and that's all he has. He's standing there with the sparkler, and they're just laughing at him, laughing at the kid. sitting there laughing him and he chucks it right at the beach bowl. Kablooey! They all catch fire. Look like a bunch of seals on fire. You know what to do with this, don't you? Be very careful. It's improved. 
Right now, this is The Evil in Me from 1987. It was a reunion gig at the Starry Night. It's got a drum solo at the end of Evil in Me, and uh, we're just going to watch that because a wild dog show is not a wild dog show without a drum solo from the amazing Dean Castronovo.
Now your host, that heavy metal maniac. Hi, welcome back to U.S. Metal. You know, a lot of people play guitar, but nobody plays guitar like Robert Anthony Robinson plays guitar. It's freaky. He's uh, one of two people that I sent down to Mike Varney who he even considered to do anything with. And that was, I'm really proud to say, two of my bandmates. I, and I sent a, probably a dozen or more tapes from guys uh, that were around the area. And he said... No, these guys are cop. And he pointed things out, and I had to agree with him. Um, the most unique guys were Michael Brown and Robert Anthony Robinson. His band Love Load, when they were Passion Fatal, were so cool to me that uh, they would have me come up and do a whole Wild Dog set. Well, in 2007, I got an offer to play in Germany, which was a you know bucket list thing, at Headbangers Open Air, a big festival near the, the Wacken Open Air site. And so I asked Robert if he would do it, and he wasn't really into playing in a band at the time. And uh, then I asked Troy Stutzman, and he came over to you know, give us an estimate on doing a roof. And I remember playing with Troy, and he was like, you know, he hit so hard and uh, could do the wild dog stuff. Both of these guys were fans of the band. Anyway, so we get together, we play for a year here locally, and um, we go to Germany, and... Grouping lasted for about 11 years until uh, 2018. Our last gig was uh, the Northwest Metal Fest, which is the last Wild Dogs gig I think I'll ever do. And it's time for Robert to do his own stuff. And so he did. He got his own band called RAR. 
recorded a bunch of stuff. He's got a couple records out, and we're going to play one off his brand new one called Face, which has got a really cool video. Let's see how this came about was, I found out that Dave Kendall, the drummer for Gargoyle, that you just saw at the beginning of this show, is playing drums on Robert's new record, and it's amazing stuff, man. He's a unique guy, and they had a huge band that was, uh, you know, Love Load. And a 90s sound, and he and he has a 90s sound because he's from the 90s. And, um, well, this one, his, this video has 15,000 views. None of my videos get 15,000 views. So uh, let's check out Face from his brand new record with Dave Kendall on drums. And uh, let's watch it, and then we'll talk later. How about that? Right here on U.S. Metal TV. U.S. Metal TV at YouTube.
uh, my name is Matt McCourt, and uh, you're glad you're not me. So thank you very much for watching. We'll talk to you next time right here on U.S. Metal TV. Yeah!